This is the long coming storm, and welcome. Do me a huge favor, like the the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and let's move forward. We're back at our fireside chats. Today we're going to take a look at the Lycanus clan. Now, I always try to make sure I pick one. In the case of the female Lycanus, she reduces nearby enemies by 31% strength and 31% fortitude. I think the percentage is up to which star you're at. So she's got a very strong debuff. And I have not been able to see where this particular skill, which seems to go off about every five seconds. So you have the skill up for five seconds, it goes away for five seconds, and for five more seconds you've got it. I haven't seen where this fails to hit everyone on the board. It may be able to. Her passive ability. Inflicts grievous wounds on the enemy, decreasing their healing by 50%. Healing isn't all that powerful of an effect. But if you're up against a team where they really need, that really are just healing you away from you, I have trouble picturing it, but it's possible. She's definitely good for this. She summons two wolves to your aid in battle. If they die, the caster's strength is increased by a percentage, and she gains life steal for 12 seconds. The life feels nice for the sheer fact that it keeps her alive a little longer. But ultimately, unless they're able to distract one of the other DPS away from her, and they're able to pull a little bit of attention away from one of your other champions, the wolves just are not that impressive. They can be. They have their moments, but like our other pet class, the, the uh, Huntsdorf, the wolves don't seem to have very much health. The badgers don't have very much health. However, it all comes down to right here. Off and on, she is debuffing the other team, the entire other team. To take away the male ace and buff. The male Lycanus. He releases a growl, increasing the caster strength by a percentage, and inflicting fear on nearby enemies for five seconds. I wish I could say this was great, but I have seen enemies standing right on top of him and somehow he misses them with the fear. But you know, when it works, his fear may well be the strongest debuff in the entire game. I have seen, I have seen bosses run away. I've seen guild bosses run away. I've seen expedition bosses run away. He can change the direction of a fight in your favor if his ability hits. Be prepared to replay if you're relying on it. Because every once in a while, it's just not going to hit. He has a massive attack speed increase as an execution. So he starts hitting faster 
And I'll tell you what, when you start hitting faster, you start ulting faster. When you start, you start doing more skills faster. So his thirst for blood is a strong ability. The thrill of the hunt leaps towards the target with the lowest defense, gains life steal, suppresses the, the enemy with multiple attacks, dealing a certain amount of strength per and damage per attack. It can kill. No question. It can slip into the back lines. It can tear somebody up. Out of the two, I feel like the male is stronger. But it's close. I, I've tried what other people have said. Lean on the fact that the female is debuffing these people. Oh, the debuff is for such a huge percentage of their strength. It's almost like male ASIN. A debuff of an equal amount is not, repeat, not as effective as a buff in this game. It just isn't. But I have seen, I have run with the male Lycanus and driven through entire campaign chapters just on his fear. His fear can turn everything around. It's just a matter of, it's not as reliable as it seems like it ought to be. And you can't figure out what the distance is that it hits from. And it's possible there's a hidden resistance to fear mechanic we can't even see. So, well, the male Lycanus can turn things around. And I want to love him. I really do. I want him to be so much better than he is. He's mediocre. I'd say both of them at the bare, 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 bare. No. It's safe to say, in the niche situation where they can help you, both of them are right between A and B tier. And there's never a point where they're just unusable, where they're bad, where they're not doing anything for your team. The male is better. The Lycanus team is usable. And I would say, personally, has more survivability than the Yevnians. But at the end of the day, the new clan assassin definitely seems to have them beat. But this guy... He's good. He's worth playing with if you've got a one that's a higher rarity and you pull one like that. This has been the Oncoming Storm.